What is up, everybody? Welcome back to The Badass Times. My name is Matt, and today we're checking out the brand new, just dropped online trailer, first trailer for Renfield. And I think this is our first official look at it. I, there may have been some behind the scenes images released or some concept art, uh, but this, in case people don't know, this is uh, director Chris McKay, who also did The Tomorrow War. And um, what else he do? He did some animated. Did he do? I think he did Chris Pratt's Lego movie. Don't hold me to that. Not positive on that. But, uh, you know, Chris Pratt was in Tomorrow War. But Chris Pratt is not in this movie. I always go off on little tangents. But this is one of my favorite actors of all time. Getting to be, which I assume from everything I've read, crazy a crazy version of himself on screen. This is the great Nicolas Cage having a Nicolas Cage uh, renaissance over the past year or so. Still have high hopes for Face Off 2, which is supposedly in the works. Uh, but this is Renfield. He is playing the legendary Dracula. And it also stars uh, Nicholas Holt, which I, I like. Yeah, I don't think he's had that breakout role that he should have had uh, years ago. He's you know, one of those actors... That's uh, you know, he was almost cast as Batman a couple times. He was the standout in Mad Max Fury Road. You know, he plays Beast in X Men, uh, or he did. You know, that universe is over, which is a good thing. Well, kind of over. It will officially be over once Deadpool three comes out, or so we think. We'll see how it all shakes out. But anyway, enough of my ramblings. Let's get to Renfield official trailer comes out theaters April fourteenth. Uh. I get stoked for any Nicolas Cage movie, and especially since he's been making so many, you know, he's been back to the, he finally got out of all his, you know, he started, he had to make a, he went through a phase where he was either going to go to jail or pay a bunch of taxes and, uh, or pay off a bunch of back taxes that his, uh, money people a few years ago screwed him over on. And so what he started doing <clears throat> over the past decade or so is he started just making, as many films every year as he could, and a lot of those films were, you know, straight to, uh, you know, uh, pay per view or straight to POV. POV is that right? If I completely straight to VOD, POV. What the hell is POV? Uh, <laughs> straight to VOD or straight to DVD is what we used to call it. And uh, so a lot of those movies sucked ass. But over since he's been slowly coming back and starting to do more serious stuff, starting to take his time. He's had some great ones over the past few years. Mandy is one of my favorite films of the past decade. And uh, what else did he do recently? Oh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent was really good. It was kind of a throwback to some uh, simpler comedies of the day and poking fun, Nicolas Cage poking fun at himself. So yeah, without further ado, Let's check out Renfield. I have no idea what to expect. Chris McKay, I don't think he's there yet as a great director. Tomorrow War was okay at best. So we'll, we'll see what we get here. Oh, for some reason, if I click that button, yeah, it yeah. skipped the... What? All right. Here we go. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the Badass Times and join me on this epic journey. Sorry to interrupt. Are you okay? I need to get out. Of a toxic relationship. Why don't you start by telling us what brought you here? My boss, he's different. You can't get him out of your head. No. I need your assistance. I'm coming so Definitely a comedian. He could destroy you with the snap of his fingers. Wouldn't even need to snap. Okay. Uh-huh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay. A little throwback Universal Pictures here. Renfield, bring in innocent victims. I want a handful of nuns, a busload of cheerleaders. <laughs> and I just want a normal life again. But this modern world is a dangerous place. This is not what I was expecting at all. So he has action Did skills? Did I watch you cut a guy with a decorative serving platter? It's in the wrist. <laughs> Let me explain. My boss gave me this power. In 
return, I tend to his needs, including care, feeding. You bring in people to eat? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. But if you were to stop focusing this on his needs, what would happen? He won't grow to full power. Exactly. He won't grow to full power. What? That's so weird. Why would you phrase it like that? But yes. Hi. Are you here for the meeting? Well, come on. No! Oh, no! Some call me the Dark One. Others, the Lord of Death. To most, <laughs> I am Dracula. Okay, obviously we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. <laughs> Now, let's eat. Okay. Uh, wasn't what I was expecting at all. <clears throat> it appears to be a comedy first off. An action movie. So action comedy. Nicholas Holt kicking some ass. He's playing... He's the title character playing Renfield. Did I say Renfield? 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 Uh... Nicholas Cage, I thought he was the main character, but I guess he's not. But maybe maybe it's maybe it's kind of like a buddy cop or a buddy cop. Maybe it's like a buddy action comedy kind of thing with the Dracula spin on it. That's when I kinda of get the vibes here. Really like it. It's gonna be uh what is it rated? Let's see here. I was about to say maybe some cool gory action here, but I think it's PG thirteen. It's probably not rated yet. Yeah, I do not see a rating in the description. Yeah, Chris McKay did the Lego Batman movie, not the Lego movie. So I was close. Uh, but yeah, looks looks pretty fun. Looks interesting. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be uh, you know any type of serious movie. So, but it continues that journey that Nicolas Cage has been on lately, and I have really been enjoying it. I want to look up what's. Real quick, bear with me. I should have already had. I know I'm forgetting. Nicholas Cage had a couple great movies over the past couple years. Willy's Wonderland was underrated. It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. Uh, let me check out. Watch it be literally. Oh, Pig. Pig was the one I was forgetting. Pig was incredible. Uh, Prisoners of the Ghost Land was okay. But if you just take. Oh, and his role uh, in uh, in Spider-Man, the Spider-Verse, was really good. But yeah, so basically, his comeback kind of was Mandy, Color Out of Space, you know, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Willy's Wonderland, Pig, especially. I thought, I honestly thought he should have been nominated for Academy Award for Pig. Uh, probably one of the best performances of last year. Or yeah, yeah, twenty twenty one. So yeah, he it was definitely on my top ten. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Cage is back, people. Face Off Two is on the horizon. Supposedly, you know, it's really gonna happen with him and Travolta coming back. Not sure how they're gonna do that, you know, considering the events that take place in Face Off. But it's one of my greatest favorite action films of all time, and definitely one of my favorite Nicolas Cage films. Uh, but yeah, for now, that is all. That was my Renfield reaction, and uh, as always, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your reaction to Renfield in the comments below. Help support the channel by hitting that subscribe button, clicking that bell for all your notifications so you never miss any more of my badass reaction. The Patreon is live. Just go to Patreon at the Badass Times over on Patreon. Uh, there's no new updates to it. It's still a bunch of my old full-length movie reactions, but it's still cool to check out, and you can support the channel there. There's like three different tiers, and... Uh, but there's a lot of new content coming to the channel this year and to the Patreon this year. Cool new cool new things are happening. It's going to be one hell of a year. 2023 is going to be epic. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I've been rambling for too long. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.